Welcome, friends, to another episode of our journey into the realms of the incredible. Today, we're embarking on a journey unlike any other as we traverse the globe to explore the top seven extreme environments where life somehow thrives against all odds. We're delving into places that push the very limits of what we understand as survivable conditions and uncovering the incredible array of life forms that have adapted to call these extreme environments home. Hi, Jay here, and welcome to EdPop, your go-to channel for the best science facts and curiosities you can't find anywhere else. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. It's going to be a ride full of wonder and surprises, so strap in. Remember, if you're excited about this journey, do like, share, and subscribe so you won't miss out on our future adventures. Number 7. Deep Underground Caves Our first stop takes us deep beneath the surface of the Earth, into the labyrinth of the world's deepest caves. Imagine a world where light is a forgotten concept, where the only soundtrack is the occasional drip-drip of water cutting through the silence. The air is cool, almost cold, and the weight of countless tons of earth overhead is palpable. It's a world that seems too extreme to host life. Yet, here in the inky blackness, life finds a way. In this netherworld, blind cavefish navigate their surroundings using their finely tuned lateral lines, sensing changes in water pressure and currents. Having lost their eyes through countless generations of evolution, these fish are a testament to life's ability to adapt to the most extraordinary circumstances. Similarly, troglobites, a variety of insects that have never seen the light of day, have evolved unique sensory adaptations to hunt, mate, and survive in the pitch black. Even the eerie stalactites and stalagmites of these caves are not devoid of life. On closer inspection, you'll find colonies of snotites, a type of extremophile bacteria hanging from the roof. Named for their resemblance to drippy, gooey, snot, these fascinating organisms survive by oxidizing sulfur from the damp cave air. Number 6. Desert Sand Dunes From the cool, damp darkness of caves, we ascend into the glaring, arid landscape of desert sand dunes. Picture the endless sea of sand, each dune a mountain in its own right, shifting and changing with the capricious desert winds. The temperature here is a study in extremes, sweltering during the day, only to plunge near freezing at night. It seems an inhospitable place, yet life has managed to find a foothold here. In the relentless daytime heat, desert beetles scuttle across the burning sands, their hardy exoskeletons protecting them from desiccation. When morning fog rolls in, they perform an incredible feat, raising their backsides to the sky to condense precious water droplets out of the air, which they then drink. Desert snakes, too, like these sand vipers, have their own ingenious strategies. They bury themselves in the cool depths of the sand, emerging only in the cooler twilight hours to hunt. Remarkably, plants also manage to survive in this arid environment. Take the desert plant Welwitschia as an example. A native of the Namib Desert, it possesses only two leaves that grow continuously, obtaining most of its water from the dense coastal fogs. Its long taproot also extends deep into the ground, accessing buried moisture pockets. Through these adaptations, Welwitschia can live for thousands of years, a testament to survival in these unforgiving conditions. Number 5. Chernobyl Exclusion Zone From the sun-scorched deserts, our journey takes us to a place scarred by human folly, the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone. This region bears the radioactive remnants of one of the worst nuclear disasters in human history. You'd expect this land to be devoid of life. Yet, in this desolate place, nature is bouncing back in an unexpected way. You see, in the absence of human activity, wildlife is reclaiming this abandoned territory. Packs of wolves roam the overgrown streets freely, their numbers higher than in any other comparable wild reserves. Lynxes, boars, and deer are also making a comeback, each carving out a life in these irradiated woods. Surprisingly, even rare species such as the Perwazalski's horses are making a home here, their populations burgeoning in the absence of human threats. But it's not just larger animals thriving here. Within the crumbling buildings and the undergrowth, insects, rodents, and a myriad of plant species are flourishing. 
Even amidst the fallen leaves in the exclusion zone, researchers found a variety of decomposer fungi, some seemingly using radiation as an energy source. This thriving ecosystem, against the backdrop of a nuclear disaster, serves as a stark reminder of the resilience of nature. Number 4. High Altitude Andean Lakes Next, we traveled to the breathtaking heights of the Andean Lakes, nestled high in the mountains. Picture shimmering lakes of high saline content above the tree line where the air is thin and the environment is bathed in intense ultraviolet radiation. It's an extreme environment, yet one that cradles a surprising variety of life. Flamingos are among the most picturesque inhabitants of these saline lakes. Despite the altitude, these birds thrive filtering tiny brine shrimp and algae from the salty waters. It's these brine shrimp, packed with carotenoids, that give the flamingos their distinctive pink hue. Beyond the flamboyance of flamingos, other life forms too have carved out an existence here. Microscopic life forms, known as extremophiles, thrive in these saline-rich waters. The high salt content that would dehydrate most other life forms is the very elixir these hardy microorganisms need to survive. Cyanobacteria and green algae form extensive mats on the water surface, giving the lakes a colorful hue. Despite their microscopic size, their existence in such an inhospitable environment provides vital clues about the origins of life on Earth and potential life on other planets. Number 3. Antarctica's Dry Valleys Our journey takes us next to one of the coldest, windiest, and driest places on our planet. Antarctica's dry valleys. Here, the gale force catabatic winds are so strong they strip the valleys of snow and ice, leaving behind a bare, rocky landscape. It's as close as we can get to a Martian environment on Earth. Despite the inhospitable conditions, life clings on. In this barren landscape, a tiny tardigrade, or water bear, roams, defying the extremes of temperature, dryness, and radiation. These microscopic creatures have an incredible survival strategy. When conditions get tough, they can suspend their metabolism and dry out, only to revive when conditions improve. Another champion of survival in these extreme conditions is the Antarctic Cryptoendolithic community. These are colonies of bacteria, lichens, and fungi that live inside rocks. They take shelter within the pores and crevices of the rocks, protecting themselves from the harsh climate. Through their metabolic activities, they slowly weather the rocks from inside, shaping the geological face of the valleys. Number 2. Acidic Hot Springs Leaving the cold behind, we venture to the other extreme, the searing, sulfuric world of acidic hot springs. Here, water boils and bubbles up from the earth, charged with chemicals that make it corrosively acidic. The water's acidity is so extreme it could dissolve metal, Yet, remarkably, even here, life exists. Acidophilic bacteria are the true conquerors of these waters. They've evolved to not just withstand the extreme pH levels, but to actually require it. These hardy bacteria thrive in acidic waters, their cell membranes equipped to pump out protons and maintain a stable internal pH. The vivid colors often seen around these hot springs are the result of these extremophile bacteria and archaea. Depending on the temperature and acidity of the water, different types of thermophiles dominate, creating a palette of colors from red and orange to green and yellow. They are not just fascinating in their own right, but also offer a tantalizing clue to the existence of extraterrestrial life. Number 1. Deep Sea Hydrothermal Vents Finally, we descend to the very depths of our oceans, where the pressure is crushing and sunlight is a myth. Here, deep-sea hydrothermal vents spew out superheated water rich in minerals. Despite the extreme pressure, scalding temperatures, and toxic chemicals, these vents host an oasis of life. The giant tube worms that cluster around these vents are among the most spectacular inhabitants. Lacking a digestive system, they rely on a symbiotic relationship with the bacteria in their bodies. These bacteria convert the chemicals spewing from the vents into energy a process known as chemosynthesis, nourishing the worms. Vent shrimps, too, thrive here, using the mineral-rich water as a source of nutrients. These shrimps have a unique light-sensitive organ that can detect black-body radiation from the vents, helping them navigate this pitch-dark world. 
Yet, it's not just these visible creatures that make the vents vibrant. A myriad of extremophile microbes that thrive in the superheated, mineral-rich waters are the backbone of this ecosystem. The discovery of these vent ecosystems also gave rise to a new field of study, astrobiology. The conditions at these vents, extreme by our standards, might well mimic conditions on other celestial bodies, like the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn. The extremophiles here offer us tantalizing glimpses into what extraterrestrial life might look like and how it might survive. The search for life elsewhere in the universe, thus, starts here, in the crushing depths of our own oceans. By studying these deep-sea survivors, we're also gaining insights into the origins of life on Earth. Many scientists believe that life on our planet might have started around similar hydrothermal vents. These vents might have provided the perfect conditions and the necessary building blocks for the first life forms to arise, underscoring once again the deep sea vents' importance in our understanding of life itself. And so, we complete our whirlwind tour of some of the most extreme environments on Earth, from the lightless, silent depths of the world's deepest caves to the high, harsh realms of the Andes, from the irradiated landscapes of Chernobyl to the boiling hot springs and deep sea vents we have seen life not just surviving, but thriving. It's a testament to life's incredible adaptability, resilience, and the sheer tenacity of evolution. We hope this journey leaves you with a deeper appreciation for the amazing creatures that share our planet and the extreme lengths life will go to survive and thrive. Remember to like, share, and subscribe if you've enjoyed this epic journey. We'd love to hear from you in the comments about which extreme environment and survival strategy amazed you the most. As always, stay tuned for more mind-blowing explorations of our incredible world.